A lot of the application questions are so different to textbook questions. With textbook questions, they're telling you what to do. Sketch this, find X, find Y. But if you come to an application question, that's not how it works. Application questions ask for a result. And you have to figure out what to do. This means that when you come to an application question, you probably don't know what to do. And that's okay. It's meant to be like that. You just need to try something, as long as it's maths. But really, the best way to improve your results is to practice doing tests. How to answer application questions. The first thing is to read the question thoroughly. Wouldn't have thought I had to say that, but it's a big thing. The second thing is to find out what topic it's on. It'll have key words. Is it on gradient? Is it on finding area of something? What is it on? Then write down all the number information so that you have the number information. Look at the available formulas for this topic. And then as much as you can, draw diagrams, sketch things, figure out what's going on. And the most important part, again, is to just try stuff. Try something. Because it's not telling you what to do, it's telling you what to get. And you have to figure that out. And you might make mistakes, and you might do the wrong thing to begin with, and that's fine. It's a brand new way of thinking that you're not all that used to. Because we haven't really covered it from seven to 10, so much. Let's have a look at an actual application question. If you didn't get all that down, that's cool. It's all on my website anyway. So a massive shed in the shape of a rectangular prism has a surface area of 1,008 meters squared and a base width of X meters. The length of the base is three and a half times the width of the base. What they do, which is kind of helpful, is they'll have a diagram for you, which kind of makes things a little bit easier. But just because they have a diagram doesn't mean that you shouldn't draw more stuff. So with this one, it says, show that if the height of the block is h meters, h equals all of this. So at this point, you have to look at what you got and figure out what you can do to get the answer. Or figure out what you got and do some math stuff and see what pops out. We know that the surface area is 1,080. All you really need to do is find the area of each one of the sides. And the best way to do this, if you don't know the formula off by hand, is to draw it out. So we've got the front part, where this is 7 on 2x. We've got the height, which is that. We've got another thing on the side, which is x and h, which looks like that. We've got the base of it, which is 7 on 2x times x, which would look like this. And that's pretty much it. And of course, each one of them has two sides. So you find the area of each of these, which would be 7 on 2x times h, which is just 7 on 2xh. x times h is just xh. 7 on 2x times x is 7 on 2x squared. And then you multiply them by 2, which would give you 7xh plus 2xh plus 7x squared. How's this making sense so far? Good. You got 7xh's and you got um, 2xh's. You add them together. This will give you 9xh's plus 7x squared. And all of this is the surface area, right? Which is 1,080 meters. Now I just need to minus that from both sides, this bit. And now I just need to solve for h, and there's your answer. But you're not told how to do that, so you just have to try something. A lot of these questions look really, really scary, but in fact there's stuff that you already know. You're just not thinking about it in a way which is get the result. You look at it, you look at this question, you're like, I don't know how to do it. That's fine, do something, try something. That's how a lot of it works. So I've got a whole bunch of exam questions up on my website. Um, what is worth doing 
is um, subscribing to my emails. And what you'll find is that I'll send you pretty much every free resource that I've got. There's a whole bunch of things which I've made. I hope you find them really useful. And um, thanks for having me along.